Stepping into the backyard for the first time can be daunting. You'll need armor and weapons if you want to survive. There are some pre-made weapons lying about, and today I'm going to show you where to find the very best one to give you that edge you need. Hello my friends, my name is Bullskunk and I'm back with another video for World of Spitecraft. This video is for those of you who may be new to Grounded, looking to up your arsenal to better defend yourself in the backyard. Fortunately, there's a level 2 weapon waiting at the bottom of the pond. Today, I'm going to show you where to find the Rotten Stinger Spear, so without further delay, let's get started. Wow, Alright, so this is a brand new save. Baseball. We're walking right this out of the cave house. here at the baseball. We're going to head northeast, go around the big oak tree, and out into the middle of the pond right here. So you'll come up onto the mysterious device, and you just want to look up at the sky and find the oak tree. We're going to head towards the oak tree to start things off. Grab a little bit of food along the way, and you want to stay in that northeastern direction. If you've hit this snail shell, then you've gone too far to your left. You want to stay in the green grass, because, well, there's a lot of unsavory characters waiting for you in the dry grass, like those two orb weavers we see over there. Once we make it to the oak tree, you want to get on the high ground as soon as possible, because a lot more threats walking around this tree we do not want to encounter this early on. So we're just going to stay up on the roots and avoid any of the spiders. All right, once we cross here and you see this kind of half-broken twig, grab these pieces of broken uh, acorn down on the bottom. We're going to use these later. Get back on the high ground to avoid things like those two wolf spiders you can see in that cave to our left there. And we're almost there. You see the pond right in front of us. So head back down the route. But before we go swimming, we're going to head over to this raspberry poncho. Make sure we top off on our thirst. You want to be nicely hydrated before you go swimming, because otherwise it could affect your stamina, and we need all the stamina we can get. So, we're going to swim across over towards that lily pad with the white flower on it, and jump up onto this lily pad right before it with the piece of dry grass. This is where you want to be. You can see we're just across from the pagoda, basically in the middle of the pond. So we're going to get to the very edge of this piece of dry grass and find these bubbles emerging. If we take a look at our map, you'll see we're pretty much dead center. You're going to dive down to this very first bubble plant and then turn and face towards the pagoda and you'll see two more bubble plants. Head towards the one on the right. We can use this to top off on oxygen. Watch out for Trudy along the way. She will try to swallow you whole. Oh, get out of the way, Pete. Narrowly avoided death on that one. Swim straight down from our second bubble plant and you'll see this oxygen tube. We're going to follow this tube all the way down into this crevasse here. You can stop off and grab some oxygen along the way. You'll see little cracks in the tube. That's where the oxygen emerges from. But just a little bit further down and there is the sunken T-Rex. This is your objective. You can get the prompt boom. Sunken T-Rex. Go up to his mouth, and you'll see right there, trying to pick his teeth with it, the Rotten Stinger Spear. Now you are armed and ready to go and face uh, plenty of enemies in the backyard. Before you head back to the surface, go ahead and top off on your oxygen. Don't want to don't want to drown, little Pete. Don't want to drown. So we're going to get back up to the top. And one last thing. We're going to head back towards the oak tree. And once we do, we're just going to go in a counterclockwise direction around the oak tree. Again, remember to always keep the high ground. And we're going to jump across these clover leaves, stay on the roots. Go past the Burgle Science Lab. If you haven't unlocked it yet, that's the Burgle Science Lab. That'll be an important place later on. But as we're crossing here, you can hear that treacherous snore. You've got a wolf spider asleep to your left, two orbies to your right. Moving further down, you'll see two more orb weavers. So this is why we're staying on top of the tree trunk. We're going to continue making our way counterclockwise around the base of the tree. And we're looking to head toward this wooden edging over here, this wood fence. There's a research lab here, field station, that we can use. So keep your head on a swivel. And once the coast is clear, 
head on down and we're going to examine our rotten stinger spear this will give you the ability to build a normal stinger spear which does do a little more damage once you have the materials to craft one we're also going to go ahead and analyze those acorn shells as well as the acorn tops that we found along the way this will allow you to build the acorn armor set which has got a lot of defense for a low-level armor. It's basically the, the second most defense aside from the Ladybug armor. But now you're all set. You've got a great weapon with which to help defend yourself. You can take on things such as this Orb Weaver. Yeah, you know, you might want to put a little practice and get your blocks right. It's not the most powerful weapon in the game, but for a starter weapon, it is more than sufficient to get the job done. That's right, Orby. Pick the wrong day to mess with Tiny Pete. Give you a little stabby stab. We'll get this ugly creature out of our hair. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. It really does go a long way to help support the channel. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if this was helpful to you. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any questions or just want to come hang out, I do stream link below every Tuesday through Friday starting at 11 Eastern. I would love to see all your smiling faces there. So until then, go look out for each other in gaming out, and I'll see you next time.